Hello friends. In this video, we will understand how to download GagePack software from PQ System website, how to install GagePack software in our computer, and how to activate GagePack and GageMail using the license activation code. To start with, we are going to log into the PQ Systems website. So I have given the URL here, the same URL I'll also give in the description of this video. You can go to PQ Systems software support latest release location from where you can download the latest version of PQ system products like GagePack, SQC Pack in different softwares. So in this video, we are going to understand how to download GagePack software from PQ systems website and install it and activate the license code. So let me copy the URL. We we'll go to a new browser. So this URL will take me to the uh, PQ Systems website where the latest software licenses or latest version of software will be available. So I'm going to click on GagePack because in this video, we are going to see how to download and install GagePack. Once I install, uh, once I click GagePack, that will take me to the version of GagePack that I want to download. So I'm going to download GagePack version 13. And this is GagePack uh, latest version. So let me click on this. So once I click on this, it will prompt me to download the GagePack software. So once I click on download, it will take a few seconds, depending on the speed of your internet, uh, it will get downloaded. And once it gets downloaded, I'll also walk you through how it needs to be installed. So it's getting downloaded in my system. So here is, here is the GagePack executable file. So once it gets downloaded, I just need to double click this. When I double click this, the GagePack installation will get started. So I'm going to accept the installation process. And as you see this, the uh, downloadable file will now get installed in your computer. And as we do this installation, there are a few steps that we need to be very careful about. Because some of the users, when they install it, they make few mistakes because of which the gauge mail application is not working properly. So to avoid that, we will see step by step how to install gauge pack in the right way. So here I'm going to click next. I'm going to accept the license agreement. I'm going to click next. Now, this is a very important step. If you see here, gauge pack, gauge mail is automatically picked. Gauge remote or uh, gauge pack remote is a uh, version of GagePack, which is not available anymore. So this is unchecked. So when you do this installation, you need to ensure these two boxes are checked. If Gage Mail box is not checked, then Gage Mail will not work properly in your computer. So when you install GagePack for the first time, you need to ensure GagePack and Gage Mail, these two boxes are checked. Once you ensure these two boxes are checked, then I again click Next. So it is uh, installing, it's going to install this particular software in this location. So this is the default location where it needs to get installed. So I'm going to uh, click next here. And once I click next, it says you want to have GagePack 13 as part of your uh, startup, right? Startup menu. I'm going to say yes. Right. And now I'm going to click next. So as I click next, the GagePack will start installing in the computer. This may take few minutes when you install in your computer. This process of uh, downloading and installing the file may take few minutes. Yes, now the GagePack version 13 got installed. I'm going to click on finish. Once I click finish, so now GagePack 13 application is available in my computer. So I'm going to open GagePack 13.
So when we install GagePack in our computer, GagePack as part of installation comes with a default database. So there is a default uh, database that will be available. For example, here, these 50 gauges are gauges which are uh, coming by default along with the GagePack installation test database. We generally call this as a sample database or a test database. Similarly, when you install GagePack for the first time in your computer, you will also have a database. The important thing to notice is if you click on help and if you click on license, it will tell you the license details. For example, in this case, the license is a trial license, right? So in this case, I already had a GagePack license in my computer, I uninstalled. That's the reason it is showing up that my license expires on 15 4, 2022. But when you install it for the first time, it will show only 15 days of you know, uh, trial license. You will have only 15 days of trial license when you install it for the first time. So once you install this GagePack, then you need to click on enter license certificate information. If you click on enter license certificate information, you will get a screen where you can enter the, so for example, you will get a license information like this. We'll have a license number, you'll have an expiration date, and you'll have an update code. So this information here is what I'm talking about as your license information. So similarly, you'll get a license information for your uh, version of GagePack that you have purchased. So you need to update the license number. If you are installing it for the first time, you have to update this. If you are renewing your license, this license number will already be available. You just need to cross check whether the update code that you received matches with this license number. Then you have an expiration. And if you see here, the expiration date is actually year month date. So four digits of the year, two digits of the month and two digits of the date. And finally, update code. And if you see update code is these combination of 12 alphanumeric numbers. So in my case, here is the number. So I need to come and I need to update this information in this license updation portal. So once I update this and click on update, my license will get activated. So since my license is already active, it is available till uh, 15th 4, 2022, right? 15 April 2022. So I'm not going to update my license now, but when you install GagePack for the first time, you can update your license using this particular port. Okay. So now we have seen how to download GagePack from PQ Systems website, how to install GagePack, and how to activate the license using license activation code. The next important thing that we need to do is to see whether your Gage Mail also have an active license because Gage Mail comes part of GagePack. However, for Gage Mail to work properly, it requires a valid license. So how do I check whether my Gage Mail have an active license? So what you can do is you can go to your um, folder browser. So basically here I'm going to the C drive of my computer. So file browser or folders that we see here. So here I go to C drive and here I click on program files 86. Inside program files 86, I'll have a folder by the name PQ systems. So any software related to PQ systems, the installation directory will be PQ systems. So inside PQ systems, I have STC pack 7, 8, gauge pack 12, 13. So we are actually now going to get into gauge pack 13 because that is the latest version that we have installed. So when you go into gauge pack 13 folder, so there is another folder which is called extras. If you double click extras, it has one more folder called gauge mail. So this folder is dedicated for gauge mail related files. And if you see here inside gauge mail, there is another uh, exe file, which is called pq.license.utility.exe. So if you just double click this particular exe file, a small window like this will open. And here you have to click on open license file. So when I click on open license file, then it will take me to the gauge pack license file which comes part of the installation. So gauge mail underscore A and dot L32. So this is the license file. So now I'm gonna open this license file. And when I open this license file, you can see something here. It is a demo license, only zero days validity. It has 299 runs remaining. He, so that, that means when you install gauge pack for the first time, it do not comes with a default license. So what we need to do, so again, for gauge main, I have a separate license here. So this license code need to be updated. 
So now I'm going to update this license code here. I'm going to update this license code here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on enter trigger code. Sorry, I'm going to click on enter license certificate information. And here I'm going to update the license certificate information, which is G A G M A one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to take this information here, paste it here. So once I update, now your license has become perpetual. That means from now on, the gauge pack license will work or the gauge mail license will work perpetual. That means it will work continuously. So this is how I have downloaded, installed and activated the gauge pack license. And subsequently I have checked whether the gauge mail have a valid license. And based on the license details, I have updated the gauge mail license also. Hope this video was useful for you. Every time when there is a gauge pack license renewal, you get the license renewal information from the PQSI uh, admin team. The PQSI admin team will send you the license certificate in a PDF format. The license certificate that you receive in a PDF format will have the these three details, license number, expiration date, updation code. So once you receive this information, you need to click on license. enter license certificate information and you need to update the information here and click on update so for people who renew it this is the process and people who install gagepack for the first time need to download gagepack software from the pq systems website install it and then update the license code thanks friends thanks for listening to this video we are trying to come up with more training videos on gagepack please subscribe to this channel to understand gagepack and utilize the full potential of this software thank you for any gauge pack related queries call plus 9196000226006 or email pqtechdesk at gmail.com. Our support team answer queries from 10 a.m. IST to 5 p.m. IST on weekdays.